Hi, my name is Rachel Marcus, and I'm a cardiologist in Washington, D.C., and the medical director of La Socha, a nonprofit that works with Latin American immigrants who have Chagas disease. I'd like to convince you that you should be screening for Chagas disease in your Latin American immigrants from non-island nations who come to see you in your cardiology clinic. The first important point is that Chagas disease is in the United States. The CDC estimates that 300,000 individuals nationwide have this parasitic infection. In our work in the metropolitan Washington, D.C. area, we found that 4% of the over 1,600 individuals that we've screened have Chagas disease. More interestingly, in two centers in the United States that have screened their Latin American immigrants with non-ischemic cardiomyopathies for Chagas disease, 13 to 19% of them were found to have Chagas disease at their underlying diagnosis. In patients with bifascicular block, 17.9% of them were found to have Chagas disease and in Latin American immigrants with pacemakers, 7.5% of them were found to have Chagas disease as the cause of their conduction abnormality. The second important point is that it really matters to make the diagnosis of Chagas disease. Chagas disease is a bad illness with morbidity and mortality at ejection fractions that are higher than the levels that we usually worry about in the cardiology clinic. Chagas disease patients are at risk for stroke, for ventricular tachycardia, and for serious bradyarrhythmias and they have higher short-term mortality than patients with other cardiomyopathies. Chagas patients who've been transplanted are at risk for acute reactivation of their illness. And most importantly, Chagas disease can be passed transplacentally, so the children of an infected mother must be screened for the disease. So please, screen your patients for Chagas disease. You will find it, and it will matter. And if you have any questions about Chagas, please contact me. Thanks very much.